Welcome back from Thanksgiving break, Warriors. My name is Devin Van Lu, bringing you this week's announcements and reminders from the CPG TV studio. Today is Monday, November 29th. Let's bring you to Brianna with this week's staff announcements. It's Brianna Sinrex, and here are the announcements from staff to students for the week of November 29th. Welcome back from a well-deserved Thanksgiving break. Just think, only three more weeks until Christmas break. The chess club will be starting again at Wawasee High School. The club is open to students and adults, beginners and those who already know how to play. Chess club will be on Wednesdays after school from 3.30 till 4.30 in the LRC. The first meeting will be this Wednesday. See Mrs. Baird in the main office if you want more information. The Key Club thanks students and staff for your donations to their Stuff the Bus campaign. Your generosity will help many in need this holiday season. Thank you, Brianna. Mrs. Judy is the administrator assistant to the principal here at Wawasee. Brianna sat down with Mrs. Judy this week to hear about her career and involvement with our school. Hi, I'm Brianna Sinrex here with Mrs. Judy from Wallasee High School. How are you today? I'm good, thank you, Brianna. How long have you worked here at Wallasee? I am starting my 23rd year. Ooh. Wow, and what do you do here? I am the principal's administrative assistant, so I try to keep Mr. Walmer and Mr. Snyder in line. Some days that's a big job. Can you tell us some of the things that you do for Mr. Walmer and Mr. Snyder? Sure, I schedule their meetings, I um, plan the Academic Hall of Fame, I plan the Senior Awards Night, I um, post scholarships as they become available and accept applications, especially for the local ones. I keep the master calendar going, so if anybody's having a meeting here in the main office or the high school, then I need to know about it so that we don't overbook things. And have you always been in this position? And if you have, how many principals have you worked for? I have not always been in this position. I started um, in the guidance as a part-time position when they added a scholarship person. And then in 2006, I moved to the main office. And I have been through 11 principals and vice principals in those years. Wow. What kind of things do you like to do for fun? I like to play cards. And I love to sit on the beach. What kind of cards do you like to play? Um, not strategic. Not strategy games, but like Euchre and there's a game we play, May I and Threes and stuff like that. Well, thank you for being here with me. Back to you, Devin. Thank you, Mrs. Judy. Lunch is almost here. Let's hear from April with this week's cafeteria menus. Hi, I'm April Rain. Here's your breakfast and lunch menus for the week of November 29th. And we know we all love food. So let's take a look at the breakfast menu. Tuesday, flavored pancakes. Wednesday, biscuits and gravy. Thursday, Dutch waffles. And Friday, sausage biscuit. Now moving on to the lunch menu. Monday, cheeseburger or chicken sandwich. Tuesday, beef taco or chicken fajita. Wednesday, barbecue bowl with cornbread or calzone. Thursday, chicken tenders or beef teriyaki bites with pretzel nuggets. And Friday, pepperoni or cheese pizza. That's the menu for this week. Back to you, Devin. Thank you, April. Swim season is officially here. Let's hear from Wesley with this week's sports schedule. Here's your sports schedule for the week of November 29th. All schedules are subject to change. Remember, you can keep up to date with events on eventlink.com. On Monday, the boys' freshman basketball team will travel to West Noble. On Tuesday, the co-ed swim team will travel to Mishawaka. The girls' JV University basketball teams travel to West Noble. On Thursday, the girls' JVC basketball team will host Goshen. Then the varsity team will host Elkhart Christian. The boys freshman basketball team will host Central Noble. The varsity wrestling team will travel to Culver Academies. On Friday, the boys JV and varsity basketball teams will host Manchester. On Saturday, the varsity wrestling team will compete in the Warsaw Invite. The boys freshman basketball team will travel to Westview. Later that day, JV and varsity teams will travel to West Noble. Let's get out there and support our Warriors. Thank you, Wesley. Administration and Student Council encourages you all to get out and support our Warriors. This week's featured student is senior Mackenzie Long. Mackenzie is the student president of DECA Club. Let's hear from Misha and Mackenzie about her career in academics and extracurriculars here at Wawasee. Hello, everyone. My name is Misha Kahl, and I'm here with Mackenzie Long. Mackenzie, how are you? 
Pretty good. Yeah. Kind of cold outside of the snow that we got recently. Oh, yeah. That kind of sucked because my car just, like, got ruined, and it's not great. And we sadly didn't get a two-hour delay. I know. <laughs> like, the roads are so, like, what's it called? Soaky? Icy. I, that, too, yeah. honestly. Like, we could die, but they, they don't care. It's okay. It's, it's okay. okay. It's okay. <laughs> We're here to learn. Am I right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so senior year. How's that going for you? Pretty good. It's been busy just with, like at the beginning, applying to all the colleges I want to mm -hmm. and getting scholarships figured out and stuff like that. Yeah, what are you majoring in? Uh, I think business. Yeah. I might not stick with it, but we're going to start with that for now. Mm -hmm. So. Oh, well, okay. Speaking of business, um, I hear you're in DECA Club. Yes. Which involves business, apparently? Yes, it's a business marketing club. Okay, tell me about that and what do you guys do in there? So we go to different events. Like we have a district competition, a state competition, and an international competition, which can be in California, Nashville, Orlando, Atlanta, bigger places like that. Mm -hmm. um, and it's with people in the whole country. Um, but we compete in different business categories, mm -hmm. like marketing, communication, communications, marketing communications, that's my event. And you can either do it with a partner or by yourself. And you just go and you do a role play in front of a judge and you take a test based on the event that you're in. Really? Yeah. That's really interesting. Oh, my God. You just go, like, to these states and just talk about business? You wear business clothes? Yes. We dress business casual. So, oh, like, so dress pants, blazers. What's your thing. usual style? I normally do pants and a blazer. And like a nice blouse and heels. <laughs> heels are probably the worst part. But yeah, for some reason, whenever I look at you, you you look like a business lady for some reason. I don't Thanks. know why, but yeah, you got that energy going for you. Yeah, <laughs> that's good to hear. Yeah. So okay. Uh, so I hear you're a president too. Yes. What do you like about being president? Um, I like helping the new recruits and the freshmen. Mm -hmm. Just trying to help them figure out what they want to do based on what I've done in the past and just giving them advice on that. Oh, yeah. Nice. It's like a little mentoring thing. Yeah. It's nice. Oh my God, you could be like a business teacher. I don't know. Yeah, maybe. You want to deal with kids? Mm. Ew. <laughs> I don't know if I can take that. <laughs> That's Not weird. that much of a people person. Oh. <laughs> I get it. It's okay. <laughs> so, okay. Student council. Yes. Anything new? Um, not sure if I'm supposed to hide these or not, but um, <laughs> we're me planning. The scoop? <laughs> Maybe <laughs> um, we're planning on doing a holiday spirit week before Christmas break, right. which will be super exciting. We're supposed to decorate the whole school, like go big and bold, like we did for Halloween, and probably have dress up days. And I think there's talk of maybe a pep rally, and then maybe some activities in the week also. Yeah. Um, and then we have. A uh, sweetheart dance that we're planning, which will be like a semi-formal dance. Mm -hmm. It'll just be themed like Valentine's or sweetheart or whatever. So like it'll be like in February or like December. I think it'll be in February. I know they were struggling to find a date just because of winter sports and trying not to plan it on a day that someone like a sport won't be able to come, right? Or something like that. And I know before, like in school dances, they got canceled because of weather. Yeah, they also have to plan a yeah. backup weather date. So, I really hope it works out, though. So do I. Well, uh, anything new about powwow? Um, we're planning a powwow this year. We haven't had one the last two years because of COVID and just things with that. So the senior class is actually the last class that has experienced a powwow. Mm -hmm. And so we want to make sure that we really communicate what powwow is to yeah. the underclassmen so that everyone can show up and we can make it as big as it can. Oh, wow. That's so great. I really hope you guys can, like, work that out. So do Just I. be great. Uh, well, thank you for joining me Thanks and talking to me. me. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Anyways, that's it. Back to you, Devin. Thank you, Mackenzie. And we hope you enjoy the rest of your senior year. Wawasi has permission to revoke your work permits. Let's hear from Misha with this week's highlighted school policies on this segment of Real Talk. Hello everyone, my name is Misha Kala and I'll be talking about our school policies. Today's topic is all about work permit. For this topic, we're touching on how you can obtain a work permit, 
the requirements for it, and revoking a permit. Any student under the age of 18 is required by law to obtain a work permit in order to be employed. Minors, kids who are under 18, you know, obtain an intention to employ form from their school. Have the employer complete the form and return it to the main office secretary. Finally, present the employment certificate to the employer. Revoking a permit. Now, how can this thing happen? Revocation can happen by a significant decrease of a student's grade point average. If upon review, this person who issues and or determines your permit approval, they will see how the student's grade point has been improved. Denial of a permit. To cut it short, they can easily deny you because of your lack of attendance and or bad grades. My advice to you is uh, get your grades up so you can easily be approved for a permit. Get that bread, save up that money. You know, you know what I mean? Anyways, so that's all for this week's Real Talk. I'm Misha Kala. Back to you, Deborah Rooney. Thank you, Misha. All school policies are located in the Wawasee High School Handbook on your Chromebook. Before we close out today, I would like to thank Mrs. Judy, Mackenzie Long, Mr. Van Lu, Mr. Huffman, and the radio and TV crew. Thank you for joining me today, and enjoy the rest of your week, Warriors. From the CPG-TV studio, I'm Devin Van Lu, signing off.